Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. So I have just re uh, reviewed the uh, Joy Toy X Warhammer Incursors. Very nice. Uh, now I'm going to look at the next set that came out. This is the Infiltrators. Again, it's another set of four. Very big box. And I believe if you buy these individually, they are blind box. But you get a set of four like this. You get all four together. Uh, quick look at the pictures. You can distinguish them, distinguish them from the um, in cursors. They look pretty cool. And again, it's 12 centimeters action figure with articulated joints, etc. Fully licensed product with GW. Okay, so let me take these out, unbox them, and I'll turn the camera around. We can have a look short in the last review because articulation is the same. Uh, we'll have a look at the figures. Quick look at articulation and a quick comparison, and then we'll go from there. So back in an instant. So here we are. Here are the infiltrators. Um, I prefer their aesthetic to the incursors. Um, they come with the same equipment except for the knives. Instead of the knives, they have this uh, double pocket pack here. Uh, the backpacks are different, as you can see, and also the uh, the guns are different. Bolters, I'm assuming, are different as well. Otherwise, the small pistol is the same. Uh, same hands as the um, incursors, and the same hand. Not an issue, but you have to heat up the the um, alternative hands before we can actually fit them onto the figures. And I've done that already. They've all got gun hands or open hands to hold guns underneath. They look really good. Let's have a slightly closer look. I'll put that an angle you can see there. Looks pretty cool. Uh, this second guy here, he just reminds me of a Cyberman from Doctor Who. Look at that sort of face. Is it assimilate? Assimilate, assimilate. Looks like a Cyberman. I love that sort of control uh, wrist part there. And also he comes, his backpack is slightly different. He has this little uh, peg there, which you don't have the other ones. And he comes with this... Um, for want of a better word, radar dish. Boop, 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 boop. In fact, let's attach these backpacks and have a look. And like the uh, incursors on the backpacks, the thruster parts do move around. Very nice looking, and this guy just looks a bit evil. Again, they are a touch too cartoony for my liking, but that is in line with the current aesthetic that Games Workshop is pursuing. I prefer sort of, you know, 15 years ago, it was a bit more grimdark in terms of style. Now it's a bit more cartoony, but it's not a bad thing. They do, they do look really good. The articulation I showed on the last review for the Incursors, so I'll, but I'll quickly do it again now in case you guys came here first. So head is a left and a right, there is up and a down and a very small side to side. Shoulders, the shoulder will pop out. You can see the bar is popping out. So they can go quite far, uh, but won't get flat and that will, can pop out the arm as well. Um, they go all the way around. Biceps is a double bicep bend, which means he gets ridiculously tight. Look at that. That's phenomenal on the bicep bend. And the wrists is just a double barbell. Barbell in there and a barbell out there a ball on this end here so he can turn and get some movement in all directions uh, there is waist so he can have a very small side to side dip forwards backwards and he can turn from the waist and a small part on the top as well legs go this far before the sculpt gets in the way but it's far enough there is a thigh twist double kneecap he gets tight in his bulk but i don't like that gap in his knees but that can't be helped uh Feet, they do get a small tippy toe. Their dorsiflexation is even smaller, but that's the bulk again of the sculpt. There is a boot turn, which is fantastic. There is a small inwards twist and outwards twist, and they have toe articulation too, which is great. So that's a quick breakdown of the articulation. Let me just quickly pop their uh, backpacks in and get some guns on them, and we have a look. The backpacks are nice, they just have a nice click in, which I quite like. It's quite a satisfying sort of feel, and it pop, 
this into place. Let's get this guy's one in and the other ones, and then I'll put their guns on them. So as I said, aesthetically, I prefer these to the incursors. I think they've got a bit more, I don't know, a bit more uh, to, to them, if that makes sense. I'm not sure. Um, there we go. They do look good. Okay, now let's just tool them up. So no knives, but you've got pockets. I'm only going to put one pocket on this guy here. Pocket there. And I will tool him up with both his guns. Let's do his small gun in his right hand. And I've changed the uh, hands already, as I said, to the proper hands. You see the finger goes exactly to the trigger, which is fantastic. And the same should be on this one here. Again, figure, finger goes right to the trigger, which is absolutely fantastic. It's what we want. Let's get a bit of a pose going. The only real criticism I will say is the joints do feel a tad loose. I prefer the joints to feel just a little bit tighter, perhaps. Uh, this guy, I'll give him two pistols. Now, these pistols don't come out. They are going to be stuck in that position. This is just uh, aesthetic. I will give him this one here. Let's have him holding that. And then maybe let's have him see if he can come around for the wrong thing to touch his a screen there. But you'll get the idea. And this guy, or the last two guys, I've given them their gun hand again on the right, and then the open hand on the left, so they can hold their guns very, very nicely. Yeah, I'm on stand up. I'm trying to do a bit more action posing. But there we go. Back foot is board the foot. Can he hold it on the surface? Ooh. Not so easily on that surface. Let's bend that a bit more. They are actually quite easy to pose, but I'm just being a bit extra. He's going to fall over in a second, I'm sure. Okay, see if you'll hold that there. And use the cardboard at the back to... There we go. And the last one... Oops, no, just popped his hand out. See if I can get that back in without hot water, please. Yeah, there we go. I do like this hand system. Um, having that sort of, it says as it pops out again, having that barbell into the forearm, then into the wrist, or into the hand, sorry, does give for a very nice uh, range of motion in the articulation. This guy's a bit, be a bit more relaxed. Okay, so here they are, they do look pretty cool. Let's move him over a bit so he's more into camera. They are a fantastic set. Now you can uh, mix and match if you want, and you can put your incursors in there. They won't have space on camera for all of them. Let's I put some in front and maybe change some angles. Let's see. Ooh. 
And he's taking up too much space with that stance. <laughs> no! So this guy sneaking slightly here. And then the last one, he can sneak in the side. Over here. Fantastic figures. Really, really nice to have 40k in a 118 scale. Now, the last video I did a comparison. I will do another size comparison now. Uh, let me use. I've forgotten the name now. It'll come back to me in a second, I'm sure. The, 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 the. Oh, I've forgotten her name. Uh, a really cool Fortnite figure who will come. The name I will. Stick in suggested videos anyway, so you can watch this review if you want, but she's really cool. She's again sci-fi, and she's going to be dwarfed by these huge 118 scale uh, 40k figures. They are the same scale, and they look proper big in comparison to her. Um, if I use, again, the same Joy Toy figure I used in the last review, one of these Bat for the Stars series ones. Again, you can see there's a, even though they're both sci-fi, there's a big size difference again. And again, I use the same Brute Hyperius that I used in the last one from the uh, Halo line, who's a massive figure. And you see he's bigger than the 40k figures. So at least my 40k figures has some worthy opponents to uh, fight against. I say worthy, they won't, these Brutes won't last long against uh, Space Marines against these ultra marines here or these smurfs smurf marines okay let's get them across a bit more again great figures um again they they are only available in china asterisk note at present i think in fact i'm sure that they will be available internationally in the future just no one knows when or how at the moment Great figures, I do recommend them. They've got great articulation. They're very, very atmospheric. They just look the part. Really nice. My favourite guy is probably the Cyberman. Love that sort of cable coming out and around. In fact, let's look at him again because I think let's have a look. No, I have a guy full of it. So the cable does bend quite nicely with his arm, which is good. He's not going to get. You know, to he's not lose articulation because of that cable. That was the only real concern. I love the way that he can actually use his control or his uh, pad on his arm as well. I think that just makes it look far more better. Okay, this is awesome action toys. I am signing out saying please like, share, subscribe, click on the notification icon, stay up to date, latest news, reviews, videos, etc. And check out my next video, which will be coming probably tomorrow, because I'm trying to do one a day where possible. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.